All right. I wanted to take just a quick peek at this question that we didn't complete yesterday during lecture. The reason I didn't do it is it's not the greatest problem in the world, the way it's phrased. Um, and the way they ask it is kind of, I mean, crazy because it says choose an acid from table 3.1 that could effectively protonate each of the following molecules. Well, you could pick sulfuric acid for every single thing in here and it could protonate it. So that's why I don't think it's the greatest question in the world. But I thought I would just demonstrate, you know, what solvents would be appropriate and just look at the rule of the equilibrium is going to lie to the side of the weaker acid kind of um, kind of quickly with you. So let's say we had the one on the top left hand corner. Um, if you were to try to protonate this with water, so I'm going to write the reaction going backwards. What would you end up with? You'd end up with an alkyne. OK, so you'd end up putting you'd end up making this molecule, which is called acetylene. And then you'd also end up with hydroxide, so a hydroxide ion. Well, our acid in this case is water, and it has a pKa of 7, sorry, 15.7. And then the alkyne has a pKa equal to 25. And so the equilibrium is going to lie to the side of the products. And so water would be an appropriate solvent to protonate this carbanion. If we look at the next one, we have the conjugate base of a ketone. In that case, um, we might need something a little stronger. And you could use something like hydronium to protonate that. Right, so if you protonated that, that would give you the ketone plus water. So if we look at the pKa's of the acid, it has a pKa equal to 15.7. And the pKa, um, sorry, did I say 15.7? That's water. It has a pKa of negative 1.7. And the pKa of acetone is going to be around, um, what was it, around 19. So that would be an appropriate choice. Uh, for the next one, you have... Um, an acetate ion. So for that, you'd have to use a strong acid, something like HCl, and that would give you the carboxylic acid, right, plus the chloride ion. So if we evaluate the pKa's, if you remember the pKa of HCl was around negative seven, and the pKa of the carboxylic acid was around five. So HCl would be an appropriate solvent to protonate the acetate ion. And just so you're aware, I know I keep telling you this, but you want to remember the acetate ion, it shows up quite a bit in organic chemistry. For the next one, in order to protonate this and form an oxonium ion, you'd have to use a really strong acid, something like sulfuric acid, right? That would protonate the oxygen and give you an oxonium, which is a strong acid too. So we have HSO4 minus, right? If we evaluate the pKa of um, sulfuric acid, it's around negative nine, negative negative nine, but the pKa of an oxonium is really low as well. It's around negative 7.3. So in this case, there would even be an equilibrium at that point, right? But it would still work. I mean, you could still protonate it to some degree. And so again, you can see why it's not the greatest question. What I would do is I would give you uh, a solvent and I would say, or I'd give you an acid and say, would this be appropriate to protonate this? And then you would have to answer yes or no kind of thing. Just like the last question that we looked in looked at in the quiz review. And that covers all of chapter three.